let's check if someone is using your Instagram account. Now, if you suspect somebody else has your login information, they're on your Instagram account, maybe sending messages, liking things, doing all different kinds of stuff, you can always check and see exactly who has been on your Instagram account. I'll show you how to do that. But first, hit that subscribe button down below. It really helps my channel out a lot. Thanks, guys. So let's hop into Instagram here, and I'm gonna show you two different places to check. The first one is we'll tap on the profile at the bottom right and the three lines at the top right. Now let's go into settings here and on here security midway down. Now here you can see login activity. This is the first and best place to check. Basically it'll show you everybody that is logged in and is currently logged into your Instagram account. So on here you can see two different, my phone and my computer in Raleigh. So those are both me. I can be sure that no one else at this point in time is logged into my Instagram account. However, if there is somebody in here, all you have to do, you tap those three dots, you can hit log out here and Beyond that, you can change your password, make sure they can't get back into your account. The second option that you have is let's go back here and go back again, go back again, and we will tap on the three lines at the top right. Now let's go into your activity and then account history. Now this is a really important thing because it will show you the last time somebody, maybe they changed your password, they changed your account, your bio, added a website, something like that. Usually if somebody has access to your account, they might do something malicious, especially if they've hacked into it. And anything on here would be a red flag if you didn't change that. So if it says something like, you changed your password one week ago, that is red flag. If you didn't change your password that someone else has your account and you'll want to get it back, change your password again and help to keep it safe. I recommend turning on that two-factor authentication that really helps to protect your account a bit better. Hope this helps. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below and I'll catch you on the next one.